Hey makers, welcome to part two of building the XL frame. For this step, we are going to need our motor hardware bag, our X and Y motors, and our motor mounting brackets. And we're also going to need our two 12 foot two by fours. Now the first thing that we're going to do is measure the actual length of our 12 foot beam. So go ahead and measure the full thing and then divide that by two and mark each one of them so we have the exact center. We're going to be measuring out from the center on each one because boards are always a little bit longer than they should be and we want to make sure we always align everything perfectly with those centers. We're going to turn them up on their two inch edges and we're going to write top on each one so they can always be oriented in the correct way and then we're going to write top beam on one and bottom beam on the other. Now on our top beam, we want to go ahead and extend that line up to the top because it's easier to measure from that center line if you use the speed square to kind of extend it to the top. And then we're going to measure out six feet from center on each side. So six feet out on the right and six feet out on the left. And then we're going to mark that and then draw a straight line on that mark with our speed square. This is so our motor mounts will be the exact same distance from our center line. Now we're going to align our motor mount brackets with the inside of that six foot from center line and we're going to attach it with two screws diagonally on top and one screw in the front tongue of the motor mounting bracket and we want to make sure that it's exactly on that six foot line and it's flush with our beam. For this next step we're going to grab one of the XY motors, doesn't matter which one, and a motor screw and a motor washer. So put the washer around the screw and then put all four of those into our XY motor. And it doesn't matter which side the motors go on, you just want to make sure that the cylindrical parts are going toward the center. The last thing that we're going to do on this part is to attach our motor sprockets to our motor. So to do that, we're going to put the set screw into the hole on each one of our sprockets and then we're going to align the sprockets onto the motor shaft with the sprocket parts going toward the outside and the set screw lined up with the flat part of the motor shaft. That's so it doesn't shift back and forth while the motor is turning. And then we're going to tighten that using that three millimeter hex wrench. And once that's all nice and snug, we'll repeat it on the other side and our motors are attached.